Today we're just going to show you how to rig your 29er skiff diggy. Right, you want to lay the mast across the back of the boat along the boom which you can put around where the foot loops are and then attach your mast pin and then you want to attach your shrouds each side. Then you can make sure all your halyards are lined up and nothing's tangled for when you pull the mast up. And then it really helps if you get someone else, a friend, to help pull it up. Grab both trapeze wires and then just pull on the rig and just pull the mast into place. And then you can attach your boat breaker to the trapeze wires just to stop the mast falling down. And then you can pull tension on the boat breaker to attach your four stay and then release your boat breaker, put your trapeze wires on. So when you're setting your four stay length, what you want to do, you have to have your mast drop down. And if you put the four stay in at the top, you can line the four stay along the bottom and you measure from the base of the mast foot to the lower part of the eye in the four stay. And you want that to be four, four, five millimeters. Uh, you can adjust the four stay just by screwing the eye and then you can lock it in with a zip tie. And it's probably best if you put some tape around that zip tie to stop it getting caught on anything. So when you're trying to figure out your rig tension, basically if it's lighter winds, you want to go for a lighter rig tension around 32, 33 on the shrouds. And then if it's stronger winds, you're more looking at 35 to 36. This can be measured with a loose gauge upon the shrouds. You can change these by adjusting the turnbuckles. So make sure there's a plus and minus arrow on the turnbuckles, plus to add tension, minus to take tension off. And make sure you're doing that on both sides. You don't want the rig to be uneven. And then you can remeasure with your loose gauge just to check the tension. So if you don't have turnbuckles and you just have pin shrouds, the way you can change your tension is just by moving down or up pins. This has to be done on shore, you can't do this on the water. Um, so you want to be looking at a forecast to see what you're going to be sailing in. Uh, I strongly suggest having turnbuckles because it makes life a lot easier and you can change it on the water. So if it suddenly gets properly breeze on, it's a good idea if you can put tension on, on the water. So when you're rigging your kite, you want to first attach it to the spinnaker pole using a bowline or a bobble, depending how your boat's rigged. Then you want to run your hand up the tapes to make sure there's no twist to the head of the spinnaker and attach that to the spinnaker halyard. And then you can attach your retrieval line going under the kite first and then through and then outside. And then you just want to attach that with a bobble to stop it coming through. And then you want to attach your spinnaker sheets, making sure they go around the front of the forestay, above the retrieval and inside the kite. I just won't be able to drive the kite. And then you just want to put your spinnaker away. When you're rigging your kite, you want to make sure you're rigging it on the port side so all your halliers are on the port side, clear of everything. Uh, this is because this is the side with the spinnaker sock on and it will be the side you're hoisting and dropping on the side of the jib. Uh, so when you're hoisting your jib, you want to first attach the halyard to the top of the jib, making sure it's clear of everything like the spinnaker halyard. And when you're putting your jib up, you, you're either zipping it up just by holding the zip and hoisting or you're using the clips. So when the jib's up, you attach it to the jib downhaul and that's how you can pull tension on the jib. With your clue, there are three holes and pretty much if you're in lighter winds or if you feel like you're needing more power, put it on the top hole. As it gets breezier, you want to go down to the middle hole. There are also on the jib track, there are pins. In most conditions, you'll be on the middle pin. If it gets breezier and you feel like it's too much, you can go on the outer pin or if it's really windy, you can just take the pins out altogether. Uh, and when you're attaching it to the front of the boat, it's good to put some tape around the front to stop anything getting caught on the split rings. When we're tuning the jib, we don't tend to use the bottom hole on the clue board or the inner pin on the jib track. Uh, just to summarize the key points of rigging your boat. So it's really helpful if there's a couple of you to help put the mast up, just makes life a lot easier. When you're adjusting your tension, you wanna make sure you're adjusting both shrouds so you don't want the rig to be different on one side to the other. When you're rigging your kite and jib, especially your kite, you wanna make sure all the halyards are clear. Do this on the kite by keeping just everything on the port side of the boat. Thank you.